Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood, where we are about to follow Thancred through the city proper to throw wide the gates, but... We gotta be on a quickie and stealthy mission over here to do that. Interesting conversation those guys are having. You know, I really wish I had one of those more smoke bombs. I'm coming, I'm coming, lead the way. He's even asleep on the job. You know, maybe check right behind you, Thancred. Alright, well, they were already waiting. Thancred, Thancred, lead the way. And now we get a full on ride in the city. Great. Well, at least we don't need any more cover, so. That's good. How much further, Thancred? Can't we let the resistance hail deal with this? Ugh. Who knows what they might do to poor Kryle if they know we're here. I know, I know, Alpha. No, I know, I know. I'm worried too. I love how Carby is running faster than Alphano is. Come on, hurry up! Open the damn door!
What? So, I don't know what the heck is going on, but... Well, hopefully Oriage's fancy new toy will be of assistance to us here. I can read your every move! Can you? Ow! Okay, alright. All right, whatever that did, it made her not move for a minute, so. All right. So, you guys take care of the rest of the crew. She's mine. Out of my way. You hurt my friend. Yeah. Hopefully she won't knock this out of my hand because I'm in deep trouble. But whatever I'm doing, it seems to be working. I'll bring you away from the corners. I'll cut you to pieces! I should have kept you in my salted earth because I'm you're like two inches away from it, but I could really use your guys' help on this right now. How could I lose? Oh no, I see what's coming. Nah, oh, damn it, I did it too early. There we go. <laughs> oh, great, more of them coming. Well, I'm already doing all the heavy lifting anyway. Get her, Lise. Get her. I know you want to score to settle with her, too. All you've got for me. I know your weakness now, even though I, if I have no idea what in the world this doohickey is doing. Let's finish this. If only you knew the power. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I got it, Lee. Please. Do your thing. Okay, that was a crap load of damage you just did, Lee. What are you on?
Well, that's one way to do it. Does anybody have any handcuffs or other kind of restraint? No. Not after everything. I cannot lose. I will not. Oh, but you will. Without your tricks, you're nothing. Conrad, Mefrid, your own comrades! I should kill you here and now for what you did! But there's no place for that kind of justice here. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how very bloody noble of you. <sighs> or you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build, we were fighting for our people's freedom. Okay, at least, at least, I think that's a Your little overkill now. A There's no freedom in that! Now, my friend! Yeah, let's not all just stand here like a bunch of schmucks. Lisa's got this under control. as this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Okay, you get a point, Thagrid, but no, no, look, look, look at how just touching this is, okay? Lise! I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you, talking like you've already won. Xenos is going to tear you apart. He commands a power, echoing that of the Icons. What are you talking about? The hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the hunt. He said you'd come, and here you are, his willing prey. You and your friends are dead. Just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice, it was all for naught! No. You're gonna live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. May I live a thousand years. Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. See, look at this. He's gonna carry her all the way out. I'm sorry. Like, that is just the most adorable thing. And it just goes to show just how much their relationship has, has changed since... You know, their first meeting where he is not at all happy to see her. And then once he finds out she has the echo, he starts to really turn around. And it just kind of culminates in, in this one moment where, you know, he really does care for her. Just just as he, you know, he, he does a lot of things. And... To be okay. And that, you know, he's the one, you know, to catch Krile and... Not just, just catch her as she's fallen out of that tube, but he, he's in several different shots, just 
just carrying her and she offers just just no protest whatsoever to that and she, that she knew he'd come and everything and it's just so it's I'm sorry and even with all that crap of Fordola that's going around what just went on that is sickeningly sweet and it was one of my favorite moments in in this the whole expansion even even if it is it is surrounded by you know otherwise not appropriate events Huh, huh, huh. Apparently we're gonna cosplay it as Thanker now. Cry are you sure you're okay? So yeah, apparently apparently Lise is still attending to Fordola. Can we call our involved up though and let him know Kryle is okay though? I'm sure he'd really like to know that. He felt pretty bad that she was captured. Kryle, are you sure you're gonna be okay? Hey dude, thanks for your help. Well, you found the news really fast. So yeah, this city is kind of a maze, and it's kind of frustrating that it is so, and I'm probably going to spend five minutes derping around the place before I can actually find the dang Aetherite, because we're not forgetting to attune to that. Okay, it's right here. Phew. Okay. Of course, I didn't attune to the... well, not attune, but activate the Chocobo Keep, and... Not the other place either. So can't even take Chocobo back there. Kicking myself for that. I'm sure they'd say the same thing about you. They've been more worried about you. that I can't turn my camera during dialogue. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to Arvald. Okay. Hug. Everybody group hug. Are we sure Kryle is okay, though? So, yeah, unfortunately, I gotta I get take the long way around to get back there, so, because I are dumb. Okay, attuning to Aetherite done. We're not gonna be that stupid ever again. Ah, the heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Yeah. Might you speak of our missing Omega? Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it, 
If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Yeah, that might be a problem. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the Pilus' claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryl. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Oriange's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. D do you have to sneak up on her like that? <laughs> oh, you have got to stop doing that. In calling upon Lady Alizé after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. T'was as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alice's soul. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? Um, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait just one second here. This was never an established power of the Echo prior to this moment. At all. Ever. And there are a lot of people in the fandom who, who will claim as such, and no, there's actually not. And... They'll say, but, but, you can dodge AoEs and stuff and fight. Well, those are a gameplay mechanic. And though I've always been under some kind of, some kind of impression that we have, you know, hyper reaction sort of skills. Again, this was not something that was, that was ever presented as a power of the Echo before this point. So where did this come from? I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and twas this which led me to develop my strategy. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, t'was a most fortuitous outcome. So, does that mean now that we know what it does, we can't use it on anybody else now? 
That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Urianje is correct, that would mean these Resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least, and one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Yeah, the guy kind of kicked my butt twice already. Well, no one's saying we shouldn't be cautious. Though maybe I was getting a bit carried away. Yeah, just a little. Right. I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryl, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. Yeah, you need to sit down for a while. Don't know what kind of effed up stuff they were doing to you, alright? I want you to rest and relax. And he's clearly worried about you. I'm clearly worried about you. <sighs> but I really like how she, how she smiles there in comparison to earlier reactions when he suggests, Hey, somebody needs to stay in Garabanya, and she's like, Well, you could've just asked! You know what, Raban? I'm glad you brought that up because he totally deserves a medal for like all of that stuff. And I'm hogging over all the glory over here and and, and everything. And he, yeah, like it's, like to this day, that that really kind of irritates me that half of the success of the end of the Dragon Song War was because of what he suggested I do. He's the one who decided, hey, maybe we should try to go make friends with Iceheart. He's the one who said, you know what, maybe we should try to talk Race Fragar out of these things. And while there were tons of bumps in the road along the way, it's those kinds of actions that would eventually lead to our victory in the end, you know? Those weren't my ideas, those were his. And he stuck through it, through the entire way, all the way up until, you know, the final steps and all that. And he gets next to no credit or acknowledgement from it. And not that he, you know, is the type of person anymore to, you know, want a medal, you know, as, as a reward. But it would be nice if somebody actually attempted to present him with such a thing, you know? Like, he's a hero, too. Emmerich, get on that. Yeah, sorry about that one time we had a date that was, uh, interrupted. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my friend that interrupted that, yeah, yeah, she, she, she got herself hurt again, too. Uh, don't worry, she'll be fine. At least this time she was not poisoned. Did I talk to you, Oriange? Okay, you you watch over Cryo, okay? Please.
So we are almost, almost, almost ready. But first, we're not level 70 yet. We're almost there, we're almost there, and I really tried to get to 70 before this moment, but doing it on two different jobs without handling side quests, stuff like that, it's easier said than done. And I'm trying to pound these, get these episodes recorded as, as, as quickly as I can. So, but thankfully this, this coincides with my usual episode ending time, so... That's going to have to wait until next time, where we will be level 70. We will already have completed our level 70 job quest and be fully upgraded in in our gear. Like, we still have some old pieces over here that, you know, we never got replacements for, for some silly reason. Uh, I don't know why, game, but that's neither here nor there. So, until next time, my friends, we're going to rest up and get ready for the final assault. I hope to see you then.